Sorry that there isn't a normal what if video this week. I know this isn't the type of video I normally do, but it was something I wanted to try, so that I could get your feedback on a scenario idea I thought about trying to make a series of. I know Moscow plans to do a series of this scenario, but I still consider trying to make my own take on it. So, I guess the first thing I want your feedback on is whether I should try to make a series on this scenario. If not, I'll try to think of a different idea for a scenario. If so, this wouldn't be the next scenario I do right away, but it would be one I do not long after. If you haven't figured it out by the title of this video, the scenario I'm considering making a series of is what if Vegeta was female. Before I get into my thoughts on this scenario, I just figured I'd mention that from here on out I will be referring to Vegeta as Veggie, since I think that could have been Vegeta's name if he was female instead. I do have some brief ideas for the scenario, but I didn't want to give too much away about his ideas. Instead, I mainly wanted to discuss an important question that would come up if I did this scenario. Which, this question is, who would Veggie end up with? There are many potential options of who she could get with, so I made a list of them in order of what I think is the most likely to the least likely option. I also threw in a joke option and a bonus option near the end of the list, just for fun. The first option, and the one that I see as the most likely option, is Raditz. While that dislike of Raditz over being a low-class Saiyan would still be there, there's a chance they still get together. They would have been around each other since they were children, so there could have been some type of connection formed. It's also possible they simply could have gotten together simply to repopulate the Saiyan race. After all, in this timeline, Veggie would have been the only female Saiyan alive that we know of, though the odds of this happening depend on an idea I was leaning towards implementing. I wanted to keep this idea a secret for now, as it is likely something I'd implement into this scenario if I decided to make this series. Series. Regardless, the point is that there's a good chance Veggie could have gone with Raditz just out of sheer convenience, since they are probably close in age, and this could help repopulate the same race. The next most likely option I see that Veggie could get with might seem like an odd one, but I think it makes sense. This option is aimed towards 17, as some events could have led to Veggie and 17 getting together. There are some potential things that can happen in the story that could have caused Veggie to be even more of a loner than normal. Besides hanging out with the other androids, 17 seems to be like a loner as well, as he preferred going off to be a park ranger, where he's alone most of the the time. Also, 17 could have easily been the one to fight Veggie in his timeline instead of 18. So, if Veggie was beaten up by 17 instead, that could have led to her being impressed by 17's strength. Since they are both loners, there could have been a chance for them to bond together and get closer together. The only real issue is if this would happen is 17 seemingly doesn't stay in contact with anyone after the Cell Saga before the Tournament of Power. So, if he does that in this timeline again, there wouldn't have been a chance for 17 and Veggie to get together. So, if going with this option, something would have to happen to pique 17's interest in Veggie so that he still came around instead of secluding himself. Our next likely option is a weird one, as it involves him not getting together with anyone. That's right, there's always a chance that Veggie could decide just to stay single. After all, at first only the Earthlings would really be that trusting of Veggie. I haven't put much thought into how the Saiyan Saga would go yet, but assuming everyone that died in the original story still died in this one, none of them might have trusted her at first. And if she doesn't get with someone early on, and had the interactions with her future child, it could take her a lot longer to soften up. It's also possible that Veggie wouldn't want to lower herself down to that level of getting with an Earthling, but that might be a long shot that she wouldn't want to settle down with an Earthling, since Vegeta got with Bulma in our timeline, it would probably just take someone strong-willed like what Bulma was. So, while this could be a likely option, it's also just as likely that Veggie could have gotten with an Earthling. The next category of options I listed that Veggie could get with are the possible options. They're not what I would see as the most likely options, but they aren't the least likely options, either. Though, I still did list them in order of what I think would be most likely to least likely. Krillin is the first of the possible options, as they easily could get together after the Frieza saga. Assuming they still fight on Namek together, some of Krillin's brave moments against Frieza could have impressed Veggie. However, in the Cell Saga, Veggie dismissing their child and assessing over strength instead could drive Krillin to leaving her for 18. Though if a similar scene happens with her getting angry over the death of their future child, this could convince Krillin that Veggie is in a lost cause. However, there's also the chance that Veggie wouldn't be interested in Krillin at all, as she would have seen how easily he was defeated by Frieza. The option is the next possible option, since assuming Veggie still stays the Capsule Corporation, something could form between them. Based on what Future Trunks said, Bulma and Yamcha broke up because of him being unfaithful, so it wouldn't be too out there for Yamcha to have a wandering eye during this time. He could be keeping an eye on her at first, since he wouldn't trust her, but eventually they get closer. Depending on something that might happen in this timeline, Veggie could have been a lot more of a loner than normal. Since Yamcha used to be a desert bandit, he would understand the feeling of being alone all too well, so it is something they could bond over at some point. However, the problem with the potential relationship between them is that Veggie wouldn't have much interest in them. Saints are attracted to strong wills or strength, and Yamcha died against the Cybermen before, so his lack of strength wouldn't make him that appealing to her. The only chance for them is if something happened that Yamcha could have proved his strength to her. Kian is the next possible option, but him and Veggie getting together is more towards the 
unlikely side. After Shotzi died in the Saiyan Saga, he would still have his grudge against the Saiyans, which could take him a while to get over. This would make it difficult for him and Vegeta to develop a relationship. The only potential thing that might have piqued Vegeta's interest is that Tien once beat Goku, but that was years ago. Also, Tien didn't stay in contact with the heroes that often, as he was much more of a loner than the others. Even if Vegeta was more of a loner in this timeline, this wouldn't be a thing she could bond with Tien over, as they would barely have moments that they could interact with each other. This is why this option leans more towards the unlikely side, since unless something causes Tien to be around more, they wouldn't have the time to develop a relationship. At the bottom of the possible options is Nappa, but he is an unlikely option for many reasons. Mainly, it would just be weird for Vegeta and him to get together, since after the Saiyans were killed, he basically would have raised her. This is also only an option depending on what I decide would happen with Raditz and Nappa. Sure, this would still help with repopulating the Saiyan race, but I think if that was Veggie's goal, she would always choose Raditz over Nappa. Anyway, the main point is that with the huge age gap between the two, I wouldn't see this one happening. I think it would be more like a father-daughter relationship between them at best, but I wouldn't see it becoming anything more than that. Next, we get to the unlikely options, which still goes in order from the most to least likely. The first of these options is Yajirobe, which the only thing possibly interesting Veggie in a relationship like this would be his brief show of strength in the Saiyan Saga. After all, he would have managed to slice off her tail. Though, Veggie would likely see that for what it was, a fluke since he just caught her off guard. Also, Yajirobe doesn't show up a lot after the Saiyan Saga, so there wouldn't be many chances they could interact with each other. The next option is one I don't think many people would have considered a possibility, which, it is unlikely, but Goku would have been an option for Veggie to get with. Now, I can probably guess what you're thinking, which is, but Goku is with Chi Chi at this time, how would he get with Veggie? Which, you must think about the state of Goku and Chi Chi's relationship at the time Goku and Veggie meet each other. In the actual timeline, Goku would have just been revived, but even when he died in the fight against Raditz, she didn't seem to care a lot about it. She was more worried about Gohan instead. In this timeline, when he was in the hospital after the fight with Veggie, she would have been more worried about Gohan instead of Goku. Their relationship didn't really seem to get healthier until the Cell Saga, but even then, it wasn't the healthiest, as she still worried more about Gohan instead of worrying about them both. So, I'd probably say their relationship became better after the Boo Saga. In a scenario where Veggie is much more of a loner, she might willingly work with Goku earlier on, which, since Goku also has the same nature of wanting to fight and train, this would be an easy thing to bond over with Veggie. Of course, since Goku is still pure-hearted and innocent, he would likely spare Veggie after their fight, just so he could fight her again. Over time, Veggie would realize no one really trusts or cares for her, except one person, Goku. He has always been one to give second chances, as he can always see the good in people. No one would have been that kind of Veggie before, so this could help form a relationship between the two. My point basically is that while current Chi Chi and Goku have a good relationship, it wasn't good at the start of Z. This would easily be a time that Veggie could develop feelings for Goku, and Goku could potentially develop them as well. I only listed this as an unlikely option because I don't think it's something that would have been an accurate thing to happen. Could it have made for an interesting story? Sure. But I don't believe it is something Toriyama ever would have made happen. It would also be interesting to see how Chi Chi would react in a timeline where Goku started to develop feelings for someone else. Also, how Gohan reacts to Goku leaving his mother in this timeline could be an interesting plot point as well. The next unlikely option, and the last option in this category, would be Shotsu. We've never seen Shotsu interested in any type of romantic relationship. At least with Tien, there was a brief chance he could have got with Launch. For Shotsu, neither him nor Veggie would have any interest in forming a relationship. The only potential thing that might have impressed Veggie was Shotsu willingly self-destructing himself to try and defeat her. However, I don't think that would be enough to lead to any kind of a romantic relationship between the two. The next category is the impossible options, which also includes one joke option. I mainly just included these just because it could be interesting to discuss them, though I'll quickly go over these options. The first of the impossible options is Master Roshi. While there might have been moments Veggie was impressed by his strength, that wouldn't have been until late in the series, like in the Tournament of Power. Also, regardless of his strength, Veggie would never be interested in an old coot like Roshi. I also doubt she would willingly put up with Roshi's perverted antics. The next impossible option, and the joke option, would be Hercule. Veggie obviously would have seen him as the joke of a fighter he really is during the Cell Saga, but things like him throwing Android 16's head and then later befriending Boo in the Boo Saga could have impressed her. However, she would never get with him, as he wouldn't have any amount of strength to impress her. As a bonus option, that I see it's impossible because how I would write this is Broly. I do think when Broly was born, King Vegeta might have viewed the situation with him differently than normal. However, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with it. The main point is that he likely would have wanted to set up an arranged marriage between Broly and Veggie, but he might have had him be exiled temporarily until Paragus could get Broly's power under control. Regardless, the last impossible option isn't even worth mentioning. I'm just mentioning them so I could have mentioned every major Z fighter, which, this fighter is Piccolo, but he's obviously an impossible option because they aren't really a race that seems to have a concept of romance. 
romance. They can have children by themselves, so then the Mechings wouldn't ever have needed a concept of romance. So, regardless of being impressed by Piccolo's strength, there would never be a chance of romance between them. So, that's essentially all the options Veggie could have got with, but as I mentioned, some of these are way more likely to happen than others. I'm curious to hear if all of you think this is a scenario I should do, or not. Also, if I do make this scenario, who do you think Veggie should get with? I originally didn't want to share my opinion on who I think Veggie should get with if I did this scenario, so that my bias couldn't skew things, but I wanted to share my thoughts anyway. I was biased towards the Goku option, not because I ever thought Vegeta and Goku should get together, or that they are the most accurate pairing, but because I think it could be an interesting pairing story-wise. After all, when writing these stories, I want them to be entertaining. Regardless, I'll leave a link in the comments to a poll for you to vote on who you think Veggie should get with. However, feel free to also share your thoughts in the comments below. I look forward to reading if everyone thinks I should make the series, what should happen in it, and who they think Veggie should get with. 